I call this meeting to order at 7.09 p.m. on September 18th, 2019. We will be home with opening program. Hi, legislation for open session there is now a separate folder within the legislation for open session please go ahead and put that in the drive now uh, that way we can be quick to get on the floor if you want to have it on the um, agenda with that we move into a period of communication and pledges of allegiance led by senators please rise Howdy, Howdy. Um, Dear thank you for this day. Thank you for all of the people who made time to be here and um, to serve our amazing university. And thank you for all of the people that are not here as well, who are going to be tests or classes. Um, thank you for the university that we are blessed to attend. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On our own country's flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. <coughs> Thank you. When I move into a period of the mission statement, I move to the serving senator, Senator Walton. Senator Walton. Senator Walton. Senator Walton. Texas State University Student Center represents all students in order to, in order to enhance the Texas State experience to benefit other state students in research, legislation, and advocacy. 
in accordance with the core values of our institution. And then it's got a lot of cheap material for how we can do it. And I'm going to a period of the singing of the spirit of Ayuna. Please state your motion. Uh, I move that we move the swearing in the fighting uh, for reform. Seeing multiple seconds. All those in favor of deviating from the agenda to swear in the finance committee, please say aye. Uh, aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 If uh, Chair Harris and the finance committee members want to come to the floor. All right, so we've got finance committee out here. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves, just say your name and major. Uh, Colton Mandel, I'm a finance major. I'm Brock Murphy, I'm a economics major. Uh, Christopher Boyspin, chemical engineering major. Good, Walter, fun, major. Garrett, I'm a finance aerospace engineering major. All right, we're working in hard the past couple of weeks uh, in the uh, allocations here in time. Uh, so, if you really experience this. Hi. Say hey. I I I I I I I I I Information of university committees, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. All opposed? That passes. Okay. There are other ways. There's quite a few. Um, why don't we have some time? If any of you are on the university committees, I know it's the chair, uh, please also come to the floor and make sure you are answering this one. Um, so, so you can go ahead and do that now. <coughs> How do you? Uh, so these are all of the um, uh, uh, representatives chosen to serve on various university committees. Um, they are chosen through an application process, and if 
I'm really lucky for diligent individuals to I can help with myself and I their commitments and I think they'll do a wonderful job and I'll supervise them this year. Thank you. As we move in, um, we will now consider the confirmation of um, these members of the university committees that they are going to be placed by um, as a whole. All those, uh, do I see any uh, debate against the confirmation? Seeing none, the debate is one sided. All those in favor of confirming the members before you uh, to the various university committees, uh, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. If we were just wearing it. Uh, for a little reference, um, Chief Justice Chopra, uh, as well as President Paul and myself, we have been sworn now. So I have appointed Chair uh, Gupta, Senior Gupta, to do the swearing. Okay, please raise your right hand or repeat after me. I state your name. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. swear. To faithfully execute to the best of my ability. To the duties of the office of state For the Texas A and the University. Student Government Association. Association. To uphold the honor of the same. To uphold the honor of the same. At all times. At all times. To protect the welfare of the student body. And to promote good relations between the students and those concerned with the university. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, we will now move into a period of open forum as a um, the floor. <laughs> We'll begin by recognizing the Henry from the Tarek from the Henry Reports. Hi, sir. How are you? So, um, my name is Henry Moridi. I'm the OK editor on the Sam Consumer Italian. And uh, the reason why we came, I came for you today, uh, thank you for those and those events for the time off for a few weeks of duty. Uh, the reason we went through this because we were kind of maybe in the different sessions of the family, and we felt you as student presenters, people who actually have the voice of the bodies, you have the things on the team of creating funds to everybody who is on campus or from students that people would care to care for the university. At the same time, we feel that your leader, our leaders, that is going to be our very beneficial person to hear from you. So that's uh, the big thing. Uh, next slide. So, we already started. Uh, the uh, best thing was to us, uh, and Richmond actually already did a uh, poem uh, two weeks ago, and it was actually broadcast on the ballot initiative that was automatic last semester, uh, doing key at the same time. So, this is a kind of typical thing that you might see if you're interested in something next time. So, I look at the calendar of the Slovenian and East Coast and the creator the publication of over 56 student journalists. I myself am a computer science senior. Uh, we are very blessed. Uh, you can see that we are there. Uh, obviously, we're going to be focusing on, uh, on opinion tests specifically. And kind of a little bit about like, how we run. So, we used to be um, almost daily publication, but we transitioned our way to just to do like kind of academics and funding to the university. So, we actually become, uh, did the first publication, which simply means we'll be primarily focusing on our content. <coughs> but at the same time, we're still publishing a Thursday paper. And I'll show you a lot of samples here, which I'm going to leave in the code tab. But that's all the best work, so it's all the best sense of like kind of things that we do there. Uh, uh, okay. So, kind of why I feel that it should be actually more to contribute to the retirement uh, in the form of uh, opinion pieces is the fact that like, we have an uh, estimated circulation of 8,000 in the own campus for this year's area. Uh, we have 55,000 uh, unique page views on our website in any given month. And I'll get you to the media platforms on Facebook and Twitter. 
That's the likes, comments, shares, retweets. That's our 90,000 on Facebook and 20,000 on uh, Twitter. So also there's a big audience that we feel that can expose to uh, whatever they're passionate about, what they care about doing here. That's fine. Let me see here for uh, the vice president of our traditional work and Japan's face, especially that's 13,000 engagements on Facebook and 17,000 page views on our website. So, <laughs> and that's the focus on the key uh, and I'm inviting me as well. There's also a big artist that wants to hear about the things they care about, and then they can actually go and share some bad things. That's fine. So, what is a PM? A PM is not a recording. Also, the cool job of recording. Uh, we have a center recorder right there, Orange. Say hello. Hi. Yeah, so the people job of recording is more than the who, what, where, where, what is happening, how, how a PM approaches from that is that fact that we kind of think it's a white matter. They try to make people. It will be for something that we are originally not aware of or to actually care about some of that. I'm definitely going to feel an issue that we feel are passionate about. An example might be they might go to the game. The games that uh, just well, the games that you are using, and also there's a big push now that uh, in that case, also that is that the, I believe that this kind of video goes to stability for that initiative. Next slide. So this idea is uh, Chris Lopina. He said, um, I'll say the people commentary, but just talk about my topic. Uh, this is like four years, four years. Editorial, also Jack, Jack, the editorial, also Jack, Jack, the editors, editorial for two, the site player, next time. Uh, the site. So, so the people for the calendar, these are the um, uh, various sessions that we do in. I'm going to focus on guest commentary and uh, let us uh, communicate which I feel will be more suited to your goals as senators. senators. And what? This I'm here the presentation. I'm the Sorry, for I'm going to the seconds. All those in favor of putting up your presentation um, by five minutes, please say aye. 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 Just continue. So uh, there's a link there. Uh, this slide can be shared to you by Sue or Jen Paul after the meeting. But uh, there's no link uh, the link of more detailed explanation of the session. By the way, I guess I'm sorry, but it will be like how, and I know there's, I think, uh, if I'm correct about this, there will be three student accident, people in both accident, both the students and you want to say, inside the PCS, you will take seriously the issue of student safety. That would be more, I guess, commentary. But as opposed to a lot of the committee, it's more in a focus, more things that we have called to action for the community. So, also, each panel uh, is piece of focus on the EU and M rivalry. But here's my focus on the various initiatives, the student rule that was changed last semester, or the various ways to try to improve student lives in the campus. Next slide. So, also, we have uh, four principles that we really have to rely on uh, the talent. So, I can see if you can use that, you can't just simply say what you want. Uh, you have to provide sufficient evidence when, no matter how strong you are, you need. Clarity, uh, which is pretty much uh, the person's way into an idea, is a straight line. So we kind of like avoid meandering in other topics which are way too much professional about. And originality, also the various issues, whether it's your campus, uh, certain uh, points for different departments, tuition, there have been so many uh, gymnasium, but we want to give, well, how do you feel like the issue has not been adequately addressed in a particular way? Next slide. Uh, so, uh, other performance. So, when you, if you're visiting, uh, it's been uh, a previous of Calvary, uh, you can, uh, you don't have to immediately have it on uh, one hand. At that point, just, you know, just communicate to us that uh, at some time in the week that you plan to pursue one, and we will get back to you when you visit the place. And when you have that piece ready, uh, submit it uh, to your email at the time of the and we'll make sure you share with us the editing privileges. Uh, there's a link there which will show you the format that we'll search for some of your pieces in. And kind of, uh, I think remember if you have any topic of interest, for example, if you uh, say you should reform the R system and your staff has been subject to the subject in the whole by one of violation, that's topic of interest. And if you don't disclose that to us, and we find out that we'll ahead future decisions of submission. Uh, and also, include a project for it as well, like in case it does want to take the whole group of inner pieces with the future of the doing that. So make sure you get that. Next slide. So, uh, I wish we had. Uh, most of the people who are in here, you can know, see, all know about what you're talking about, kind of do your research, and there's various ways to kind of get better at it. Uh, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and the various newspapers offer special ways for students. So if you want to learn how to do it, uh, there will be more 
they're all like this to let me see a more clear way of how we think about it in a little bit challenging, but yeah, that's also a good way to do it. Next slide. And I guess I'll open it up to questions. Thank you, and with that, the five minutes of question and answer will now begin. Do you have any questions? Say no. Thank you. Thank you. I now recognize Alyssa and Jay from City Hall Station. Do you want to please come to the floor? Thank you, Speaker. Hi, my name is Alyssa, and this is Jay. We're from the City of College Station and Drum Services Department. I'm going to start by saying to you about some key meetings that we're going to have next week. Um, the city is currently working on updating our common meeting plan. Um, what that is, it's our 20 year vision of how the city is going to grow and develop uh, over the next 20 years. So, uh, what we're doing is taking a rough timing of our group now. So, we're taking a pause and seeing um, are we where we thought we were going to be 10 years ago, and then where are we going into the future? So this is everything from land use, um, having a single family house, to apartment complex, to the commercial area, to property centers, um, recreation, um, you're going to have recreation, bus routes, all of that's really not included in the house. Okay. So there's a lot to talk about. We're going to have four additional meetings next week. Um, there's one in the night. Uh, two on Tuesday, one during lunchtime, and then one in the evening, and then also um, in the evening on uh, Wednesday as well. So four in the evening. Uh, we'd love to help get word out to other student organizations you might be involved in it, your friends, colleagues, peers, um, significant others, all of them. Uh, Jay's going to pass your flyers for everybody. We also passed the poster size once, so we can always have a Senate order, student government board, please. Um, Put it up, we'd love to see you there. Student input is really important. Um, uh, unfortunately, student government would rather unrepresented unrepresented groups in all of the big lots of teams, and it's hard to hear you guys how many they are today, right? You could want to go on campus and go to college meetings, but we really want you to go on campus and go to public meetings. So, um, there are four uh, career in the night time. The closest one here to campus is going to be across the street at Oak Creek Media School and the cafeteria. Um, and it's meant to be a fun week tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be um, a small group of exercises, you have some mapping things to do, um, and we can help you with the maps. We can show you where you live, what you like, you know, like what areas you have, what we want to let you have. Um, so that's really the biggest reason why we're here tonight is to encourage you and your friends and, uh, and peers to come out next week. Um, so if there's any questions on that, let me answer. But separately, um, as you may know, 2020 is also a census year. Um, that's the U.S. census and the count of all the citizens um, in the United States, all the people in the United States. Um, so the, what happens is the federal government wants to get the count, but it's delegated to state and local governments to actually physically go out, get the word out, and spread out um, all of the uh, questions. So we're having about a concerted effort at the local level to get the word out that it is a census year in 2020. Um, we will all be the favorite census and we watch the feedback. Again, students are um, a source of gender representative group to count. And by the time we realize that we have to enough students counted, we should get some of the you guys all time. So uh, we want to encourage you all to um, participate in the census. But there's also going to be um, what's called a weekly count committee. So a group of folks from um, city college stations, state department, regional organizations, and any of them. Uh, and you all can participate in that committee too. So you can get involved in local government. All right. Committee, um, we would love to be involved in that. Most of these are going to start in October. Um, I have some cards that are passing out to anybody who's interested in being involved in the committee. But so it's not a lot in terms of finding the internet, it's really just like helping people know the census and get the word out and make sure um, your, your friends and fellow students have to take that. I think that we've set the time frame of the name to meetings in person, initially. The rest of the correspondence will be primarily to email. It's not that not to really have the time involvement. Yes. So, I guess with that, we'll open up for any questions. Thank you. We'll now move into a period of question and answer. Are there any questions for the presenters? Yes. Thank you. 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 Th
trip about grades students, what do you think is a topic that's really good for students, especially um, A and M students, to kind of have you? Um, well, it's really up to you. So that you want to hear what are your most concerns um, when you're driving down Hill Station? What do you like? What do you not like? You want to hear your thoughts about the all of this traffic? Is there you know, one intersection or your commute there and it really bothers you, and everybody's talking about it, and you're sitting in traffic? We want to hear about that. Or um, is it something like, do you have a hard time finding an apartment for your campus that was affordable? That would certainly be a, a topic of concern we want to hear about too. So it's really up to you all, but based on your day to day um, experience here in College Station. Thank you. Are there any further questions for the presenters? Yes, sure. Terrible, yes. Community Relations. Who will be attending the meeting and who will be presenting the information to the people? Will it be you or will it be someone else? Great question. So we have a team working um, on the Friends of Plan initiative. We also have hired a consultant to provide uh, a not biased third party facilitation capacity. So they'll be doing a presentation at this fourth week next week. Uh, so our staff will be there as well. So the, the consultant will be presenting um, to the whole group, and then staff will be at each individual group table to be like a small number of one session. So a little bit of both. But it's really nice to be a listening session. So we really aren't participating in that. Um, in that sense, we want to know uh, what your thoughts on that this week are. Mm -hmm. Senator Trustner. To what extent will we be discussing traffic safety? Um, so it's something we won't be having um, like a QA on, you know, where the city's plans for a specific intersection in terms of improvements, but if there are specific places that uh, have a problem with day to day, we want to know that. So this is more of an um, information gathering phase. But what's going to come out of this is a report in the spring of specific areas in town that a lot of people identified as problems, and then we'll be trying to address those on the back end um, next spring and summer as we arise the plan. Do I see any further questions for our presenters? Seeing none, well, we thank you guys for coming on campus to a public meeting. So, we are next. I will not recognize Kate Banks on behalf of himself. Hi, Senator. How are you? Um, so, I kind of and as I promised, but we're doing silence um, here before or after and so we're here, whichever kind of kind of sort of matter. Uh, yeah, I believe last Friday, the uh, Jedi and I had a was a founding member of the Union Davis Village on campus, and this past week, actually, I'm going to go down to the home club. I already told Senator Miller to go over to Angle for the end of the for creating that edge out of the, uh, especially in all these things that we're stuff going on, we're not going to have a public press now, and it's also going to be a good idea that I need to have a kind of knowledge of this, you have to know this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any questions for the zone? Seeing none, thank you. We'll now recognize Cameron Garcia and Abdul Khan. From the Muslim Student Association, please want to come to the floor. No, I think it's starting to happen. Howdy, Sam. Howdy. 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 Uh, we came here today to share a quick prayer with y'all. Uh, Cam will decide to prepare the party, and I will thereafter cancel. Sounds very cool. Yeah. And I'm really thankful for this beautiful 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 Souls and the evil of our actions. 
We ask God to purify our intentions for being here today and do this for the betterment of us and the entire student body. We ask God to bring tranquility over us and bless this meeting. We ask God to guide our leaders in Texas AM and guide the students and faculty to follow the rest of the We ask for guidance in making decisions and we ask to always have your remembrance in all that we do. Um, as the MSA is just kind of a uh, theory to promote community within like the different uh, faith, especially because like this is our small minority uh, on campus. And so that's like one of the big things that we do, especially like my position, also an outreach position. So we have like, um, we have a song for one that have you probably like told about it, uh, but won't be tip over, uh, which is okay, of course. But uh, those have like bicycling, and we also have um, um, like, Kind of evangelism, yeah, that's like the word that we probably would know. Um, that happened like in the MSC, uh, so yeah, so we pass it back to MSC, and we see in the council of Los Angeles, uh, they're either uh, definitely open to any questions they don't have, and um, yeah, thank you. Any questions? Do you have any questions for everything? Yes, Chairman Bill. Chairman Bill, since I'm just wondering, yes, I'm going to come to the end. Is there any further questions for our presenters? <coughs> Seeing none, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> with that, we now recognize Eric Paul from the Aftermath Evangelism. So my name is Eric Paul, you can hear me on the radio, that's it right there, but <laughs> my name is Eric Paul, I'm the president of the Captain Games Initiative, and so I don't have a chance to present here today, but I'm basically just here to tell you guys we are opening for applications, the applications are due this Friday, um, we're looking for a broad range of talent, just anybody who's passionate about the project, and basically that's pretty it for the most part, if you do have any questions or concerns, Please come to our informational tomorrow. Um, I will have to honor some more information on that. If you want to meet with me one on one to get more information on the project itself, please don't feel free to do so. And thanks and get on. Thank you. Do you have any questions for our presenters? Yes. First and foremost. How can we how does fundraising at this event? The button is the funding efforts have been great so far. Um, we've been able to partner with the Texas A&M Foundation, and they have been reaching out to us regarding the Dean Foundation. But it is good so far. Um, in our newsletter, we're going to most likely be posting our status. Thank you, Senator. Sure. 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 Sure.
And it was six months during which uh, the students had to share active for each of the active core values. That's going to take nomination from sender to people with an SGA event. So we want to recognize as having uh, looked up these core values. Um, and then we are going to recognize them for the way in which they uh, can look up in this. Um, it's just, I think, really a to get them up and see how these core values that really only get as much PR as they should. And see kind of put the spotlight on some Aggies who can't really be an inspiration for the current students here anyway. Um, to the bill, we have to prove my committee. Uh, executive director got to show and made some really cool um, suggestions that I'm not going through for just which order in which the core values are recognized. So we have like software service during the month of uh, the event, stuff like that. Uh, so some really cool edits there. And then I pushed it back from uh, this month, September 2019, and January 2020, just because I wanted the actual ad hoc to be able to put up the finals and not just myself being our to try to get into the middle. So, uh, with that, um, we're going to open to questions. Thank you. We're now moving to a period of question and answer. Do I see any questions for our presenters? Seeing none, thank you guys. Please step off the floor. Okay. With this, we'll now move into a period of debate. Do I see any debate for this presentation? Excuse me, for this bill. Yes, very good. Sure, Thank you. The floor has been yielded to you. We'll now move to a period of debate against this resolution. Do I see any debate against this resolution? Yes, Chair Rodriguez. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. Those are the chairs. I'd like to um, uh, refer to the minute. Please state your amendment. I'd like to add the verbiage in legislation uh, further added in number two, where it says, on the nominee, so will official uh, honor upon the joint nomination in the Senate, uh, have the Senate put in and the approval of the nominee. Seeing multiple seconds. Please rise. Is that what correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Seeing multiple seconds, all those in favor of passing. Yes. Please, please stay. Um, well, now we're going to hear a debate for this amendment. Do I see any debate for this amendment? Yes. Third. I like this amendment. Thank you. <laughs> um, do I see any debate against the resolution? Yes. Sure, thanks. So, Chair Banks, we have first meetings, but I think the one thing I would like to um, add some burden in is what we have um, a Either I sort of like not every year or part of the group. Uh, so when myself and Senator Cross and Derek from the I was on the end of the was like, I uh, just blanked to all the items who were serving World War II. Um, and obviously, the seat nominees can't you know, approve their own recognition. So if we can just tweak the verb a little bit, have some kind of conditional registration. Uh, with that, we want to have a few of those. The floor is being able to move back into a period of debate for this amendment, or is it debate for? Seeing none. We'll move back into a period of debate against this, or a senior debate against. Okay. Yes, Chair Max. Chair Max, I'm here. So, um, which end we work? I move to amend the amendment. Yes. Please stay for a moment. I would like to add to the end of and the approval of the nominee, I would like to add a comma where possible. When possible. multiple seconds. Any debate for this amendment from Chair Banks? Seeing none, debate is one sided. We are now voting on Chair Banks' amendment to the amendment. All those in favor of passing the addition of common when possible, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. All opposed? That passes. Chair Banks used to have the floor of debate against during John, Sir John Ryan Reed's original amendment. I am for. The floor has been yielded to, and that will move back into a debate. Debate for this amendment, do I see debate for? Seeing none, the period of debate will now close. And with that, uh, we will now move into a period of voting. All those in favor of passing the highlighted amendments, please say aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. 
we are still in a debate against John Ryan. Chair, are you guys, you still have a sports debate. Let's find two. Chair, the operations. So it looks like what we edited in the committee didn't go through it. So it's, it says respect is uh, March and the self service in April, where self service should be in March and respect should be in April to highlight big event in March and then muster in events. So when I shift the months around, I might be making that in fact. So I would like to, I would like to move to amend. Um, Respect and self service be switched and let it be enacted for. So I see you need to make against Chair Gupta's uh, amendment. Seeing none, the debate is one sided. I'm not going to interpret a voting. All those in favor of adding the amendment five, so notice that they say aye. Uh, all opposed? That passes. So they refuse to vote for it. The floor is being yielded to, and with that, we need to appear on the debate um, for this resolution. All those in the switch have too much. There's any debate for this. <coughs> None of the debate will now close, and with that, we might have interfered with voting for the resolution as a whole. All those in favor of passing the resolution as passing the bill as written, please say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. All of those? That passes. <coughs> With that, I'm now going to a hearing of the reading of SB 7202, Religious Inclusion of the Invitation Act, the bill offers and sponsors a peace on the force. Howdy, guys. So we fixed up the wording a little bit. We're just reintroducing it to the floor. Um, today we did start the invitation and we had representatives from MSA come and say a prayer. So we're hoping to bring a ton more, especially next week. Um, so if you guys want to take a quick look at it and if there's any other changes, um, we're more than willing to make some. And with that, we move into a period of question and answer. Do I see any questions for the presenters? Seeing that, thank you for please step on the floor. Seeing as this is the second reading, I'll move into a period of debate. So I do a period of debate against or excuse me, debate against this bill. Seeing that the debate is on side and move into a period of voting. All those in favor of passing SB 7202, religious inclusion of the invitation act, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. All opposed? That passed. That concludes the period of old business, and with that, we move into the period of new business, starting with SB 7203, the SGA budget of fiscal year 20 bill. If the author and sponsor please come to the floor. <coughs> As a preface to this uh, presentation, this uh, SGA budget allocation will have to be read in the entirety um, to be followed. Through. Howdy, Sid. Howdy. Howdy. All right, so just to practice long. We do have to do the line by line, so uh, please pay attention. Uh, it's just kind of so, SGA budget, this year, 20 bill. Where uh, else one? The Texas Aid Industry Government Association is charged with distribution of $50,000 to student fees money within the committee's mission organizations and branches that comprise. The uh, Student Government Association and for us to find this committee has conducted hearings in which each entity requested funds was allowed to present the reason for the coming year, their past use of funds, and the extent of their future fiscal year plans and the talks entailed. Let it be further enacted one. The following recommendations are the line item total. By the grants to the 12th can food pantry for the 2019-2020 SGA allocation account. Pretty um, copy of voter paper, pretty uh, copy of $30, dollars some materials. You don't need to do the operations. 
uh, supplies and materials $25, safety crayons $25, insurance premiums $295, other $200, total of $175 for operations, advertising $150, vendor suppliers $50, promotional purchases $150, uh, travel expenses $150, total program $500, miscellaneous MIC open house fee. Let it be further enacted to the following recommended, recommended line item totals be granted to the Aggie Improvement Committee for the 2019 SG allocation. And uh, facilities and rental deposit $240. MSC open house fee. $100. Cold storage locker, $300. Cold budget expense, $640. Let it be further enacted to three that the following recommended line of holds totals be granted to the alternative spring break for the 2019 2020 SG allocation account and supplies and materials, $650. Safe spare items, $25. Insurance premiums, $140. Total operations, $230. Program advertising $120, and the suppliers $150. Food, business delays $200. Total program $470. Miscellaneous MSC open house fee $100. Uh, total miscellaneous $100. Total budget expense $800. Let it be further enacted for all our next minute line of proposal grants to the event for the SGA uh, allocation plan. Postal services, $1,100. Printing property, $2,000. Supplies and materials, $400. Uh, total operations, $4,300. Program advertising, $100. Banner suppliers, $300. Other, $5,250. Total programming is $5,650. Miscellaneous, this open house be $100. Total miscellaneous, $100. Total budget expense, $10,050. Let me further magnify that the following recommended line of items polls be granted to Cameroon Career Plaza for the 2019 SGA allocation account and creating a property of $125, other $185 on dollar, total operations $310, miscellaneous, coldest storage locker $300, chemist field and house fee $100, uh, total miscellaneous $400, total money expense $710. Let me further enact the following years to the line on the choice to grant the card for the 2019 SG application and postal services $50, printing and copy $250, supplies and materials $50, stationary items $250, insurance premiums $5,000, other $3,500, $3, total operations $9,100, miscellaneous NSC open house fee $50. Total miscellaneous $50. Total budget expense $9,150. Let it be further enacted so that all the rest of the line items will be granted to cost it for the 2019 2020 SG allocation and printing copies. Sorry, postal service $100. Printing copy $100. Veteran suppliers $200. Travel expenses $725. Food programming $1,000. Total programming $1,925. Miscellaneous. MSC open house fee $50, total storage locker $150, total miscellaneous $200, total rest expense $2,325. Let me further activate all your combined and total grants and issue of the commission to just use the company SG application account and full service $200, operations total $100, program advertising $90, uh, promotional items $200, travel expenses $100, total programming. Expense $1,400, miscellaneous $0, total budgeted expense $1,300. Let me further recognize the following recommended line of goals be granted to the SGA Diversity Commission for 2019 2020 SGA allocation and supplies and materials $50, total operations $50, uh, programming, promotional purchases $50, per food programming $100, total programming $150. Total budget expense $200. Let me further enact the same following year from the line of the to grant the Environment Relations Committee for the 2019 2020 SGA allocation account and 
free copy of $25, supplies and materials, $50, advertising, $300, banner suppliers, $230, food program, $175, total $705, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. MS open house fee $100, home storage lot $150, home dollars $250, $1,030. Let me currently act the letter to call her in the line of the to grant the SGA. Executive Council for 2019-2020 SGA, uh, patient account, and premium copy $50, class of skills, $100, uh, total operations $150, program advertising $100, banner suppliers $80, promotional purchase $100. Approved programming by uh, seven hundred dollars. This line is this open house fee fifty dollars. Total budget is one thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Let me further back to twelve. The following are the line of the line of total grant beneficiaries two thousand and sixteen to the SGA application account. Free copy fifty dollars. Ticket carry on is three dollars. Total operation one hundred dollars. Average programming. Bank supplies seventy five dollars. Facility rental from deposit store fifty dollars. Group program $1,100. Total programming cost $3,625. This is a scope house $50. Total this is $50. Total that is $1,775. Let me further add the $13 that fall in the bottom of the total grant to pay for the operation of the property in 2019. That's the allocation account. Programming is $1,500. Capital expense is $1,670. Total programming cost. Three thousand eight hundred seventy dollars. This land is in open house fee fifty dollars. Total this land is cost fifty dollars. Total land the rate spent three thousand two hundred twenty dollars. Let it further after the fourteen that the following year from the bottom of the total for grants and SGA legislative relations committee. Commission for the 2019 SGA application account. Post service is thirty dollars. Stationary items one hundred fifty dollars. Total operations one hundred fifty dollars. Program and travel expenses three hundred dollars. Food investment related fifty dollars. Total programming three three hundred and fifty dollars. This lane is zero dollars. Uh total budget expense five hundred dollars. Let it further act thirteen and following right in the line of the total grant to Aggie Russell Committee for capital to the SG allocation account. Full service is two hundred and eighty two dollars. Pretty profit is three hundred and forty dollars. Supplies and materials two hundred and fifty dollars. Stationary is three hundred dollars. Uh total operation one thousand one hundred and seventy two dollars. Programming. Promotion purchase from so family supplier, $306 commercial purchase of $1,000. Click your rental, $160. Speaker fees, $435. Other $600. Total programming cost, $2,565. This lane is in the house for $100. Total square block for $25. Total this lane is $250. Total budget expense, $3,987. Let the program act in 16 months, all right, the item of the total is to be granted to everyone's plan for 2019. The SGA application account and one year. Thank you very much. Chair of the rules and regulations, I have a motion. Please state your name. I move to extend the period of presentation by 10 minutes. Saying multiple seconds. All those in favor of extending the period of presentation by 10 minutes, please say aye. Uh, aye. Okay. All opposed? That passes. Let's continue. Okay, okay, now we're creating property $20, $10, supplies, materials, $5,400, uh, insurance premiums, $245, total operation, $5,635, program advertising, $25, financial supplies, $25, promotional purchases, $200, travel expenses, $250, food programming, $300, total programming cost, $800, miscellaneous, and so it costs $100, total miscellaneous, $500, total budget. Other 
total space in your dollar, total budget for the space, four thousand three hundred eighty dollars. So if you heard an accusation that's on record in the audio, the total is to be granted to the judicial court for two thousand nineteen SGA allocation account and uh, supplies, materials, fifty dollars, programming, food, business related to earn hundred and twenty dollars, total programming hundred and twenty dollars, uh miscellaneous other not here, ninety five dollars. Total budget expense two hundred and sixty five dollars. And with that, we'll now move into a period of question and answer. Do you have any questions for the presenter? Same time, this will be set for Thank you. Thank you. We'll now move into the reading of SR 7204, the Hispanic Heritage Month Resolution. Since they were bringing the Spanish Heritage Month resolution, which started September 15th and it's going all the way to October 15th. So we have a resolution here just acknowledging that Texas Bank is the best support this month and all the Spanish Heritage that is here in the end. So we're going to have an honor to meet you. A resolution recognizing the significance of the Spanish Heritage Month at Texas Bank and the Federal Reserve. Whereas, in 1968, a proclamation was issued by President Lyndon B. Johnson. Please raise your hand. Good morning, 
values by figuring I would can only have 15 total between authors and sponsors. Uh, that means that three, if I'm counting correctly, will not um, be on this piece. Do I see motion? We are currently already on a motion, so you have to wait until we vote on this piece. Uh, but I will say that if your motion is referring to or how your hand is spelled, that will be fixed. Chromatic errors don't need to be Thank you. <coughs> Great. Thank you. Do I see the fake next uh, to your readers as uh, amendment? Seeing none, the base one cited. All those in favor of adding the following names as sponsors for SR7204, please say aye. Uh, aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Chair of Regan, just have a floor and pay attention. I yield my time to. Yes. Uh, point. Chair of Regan, I'm going to operations. If this is supposed to be an SR72 07, is that something we can change later? Is that Yes. Even, yes. 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 Um, right. With that, right. The floor has been yielded, so we'll now move into debate for this uh, resolution as a whole. Or I see debate four. Seeing none, debate was one sided. So now we'll use your period of voting. All those in favor of passing SR 7204 Hispanic Heritage Month resolution, please say aye. Uh, uh, all those. That we move into the reading of SR 7205 Bill for Resolution. If the authors and sponsors would please come down to the floor. Do I see a point? Um, yes, please touch your point. Um, how does venue get from the sponsor? Like, what was the order they went to? The order was um, going around the room like that. Um, we don't have the yeah, ability to do more than 15, so it's just. And does that go from where you originally sit or where you currently sit? Just where you were in this room, you're applying for this race. Go ahead. Um, so, what was the order of your case? Unfortunately, we've already voted on that and passed that, um, so we can't change it. Um, mm -hmm. In the future, please um, debate against if that is how you feel, um, but it's already passed. Thank you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Howdy. 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 Um, so, you and we forgot the sent a couple tweets for the same tweet to the people that one of our beloved items is served on Capitol Hill right now decided that he's not going to be going for re-election and that is uh Carson Bill Forrest class of uh of 76. We also know Agony Rolver decided he's not going to be for re-election soon so we were at the resolution for him but uh Senator uh Crosslayer and also our VP of legislative relations Mr. Henry Cross reached out to me said this needs to be done uh, which is really humbling is that A and M is our core values. And District 17 for the Grand Commission, District Texas, uh, also saw those core values in Arnes and Bill Fotis. And so for the past five ten years he's been serving at the at the um the schools of the district or our community or state and our nation. And so we decided that it was only proper that we be writing a resolution for him, thanking him and his wife and those that uh served with him for everything he did for Tessinger, uh for sister schools. 
and uh, everyone else who mentioned anything. So I'm just going to rush through this really quick. It's basically just listing all the accomplishments that we've had while here at the same end. It's going to be part of the four cadets. Uh, we're just a volunteer. We don't want to serve there. Uh, he is a showman. We also serve as a body vice president. Uh, it also talks about, you know, through this, everything else has been a part of uh, in regards to the development of the AM, whether it's being on uh, the whole line of the board, also being a board director for the Association of Former Students, rather than the County Union Club, the Association of Former Students, or even that, uh, and a few others, the Peace Union Club, and the Old Development Council as well. Uh, it talks about things we did on Capitol Hill. And lastly, going to the Bear Bullet, it is all also mentions uh, that we're just being very good at first. It's not for them to be impacted in that capacity. So, very interesting here. Everyone that uh, published the original consent, too. Uh, again, this is a memory for and, and thanking uh, formally uh, Congressman Bill Otis and his wife that he did uh, during their tenure down Capitol Hill. He wished them the very best all their endeavors in after uh, their time. So, with that, we yield our time to the board. Thank you. First, we have to the fact that we're going to a period of question and answer. Do I see any questions for our presenters? Seeing none, thank you. Please get off the floor. Without moving into a period of debate, we have any debate against this resolution? Yes. Can we go on? Uh, Jerry, I think there's a couple of Please state your name. Uh, the first thing is this, whereas five, I will take to talk to the less observed by the frustration for the agencies to make less construction choice. Same, multiple seconds. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Shared version with um, us, and so I believe you read that version. And so, um, yes, please say your Correct. No, correct. You're right. So, we're coming to it. Yep. Um, please continue. Um, let them let it bring us all to representative Bill and Bill Morris. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Is it correct? Eight to the Very good. Same multiple seconds. Do you see any debate against this amendment? Same. I'm debate is one side. We will not move into a period of voting on Chairman Bill's amendment. All those in favor of passing it as written, please say aye. Uh, All opposed? Say that thanks. Then we're going to start the floor of the debate next. I yield my time to the floor. The floor is to. We'll now move into a period of debate four. Do I see any debate for this resolution? Seeing none, the debate is one sided, and with that, the period of debate has now closed. Well, now we move to your period of voting. All those in favor of passing the SR 7205 Bill Flores resolution, please say aye. 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 All opposed? 
that passes. With that as note, that concludes our period of new business. We'll now enter the period of open session. Do I see any of those? Yes. Um, there are not new business. I have a bill for open session. Please take your title. Senate Operations Reform Bill. Same thing. Multiple seconds. If the bill authors are sponsored, please come down to the floor. The folder. Look how efficient. Ten minutes, sorry. All right, so next. Uh, okay. right. This is the modernized and optimized action for the Senate population reform bill. Um, but basically, last semester we had a couple issues where. Some very well intentioned senators decided to see some bills that were like 100 recipients. And the operation bill or operation committee had to find all these people. So, essentially, all we're going to do is the, the legislative authors uh, are going to be required to submit just where we can find and where we can send bills. This, like, in theory, if y'all can't find it, we definitely can't. So, this is just our request. And also, Putting in code for the content. And that's all I have. I'll look into the question. With that, we move into a period of question and answer. Do I see any questions for our presenters? Thank you. Seeing none, this bill will be sent to the finance committee. And with that, do I see any other pieces of legislation? Uh, for open session. Seeing none, thank you. The period of open session has now concluded. We'll now move into our period of committee reports, starting with. Howdy. 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 Uh, Chair Burger Rules and Regulations. Um, only thing I really have is uh, not super satisfied with attendance. So um, if you could, if you've got friends uh, that aren't in the room tonight, please uh, encourage them to come to the next meeting. Uh, it's really disappointing to see it turn out like this. Um, and beyond that, I uh, definitely encourage those of you who are here uh, to attend Subco tonight. It's always a good time. And, uh, no questions. Any questions? Yes, Well, you can I'm going to do my best. I have to run home, um, but I'm going to try and get back. Uh, since we finished early, I think I can do this. Yes, correct. Uh, it's going pretty well. So there were, I think it's 26, 27 bills from last session that actually modified the code in some way. Um, and I have all but two of them uh, updated, and that update, or the code that is updated uh, to 24, 25 bills um, is on the Senate Drive. It's available as a resource to y'all on the Second Drive, um, and I do my best to get it cranked out and trying to finish by uh, the end of this week. Thank you. Thank you. And for reference, uh, that is actually the Rules and Regulations Committee poll. Do I see any further questions for Chair Uh, seeing that, thank you. Uh, Chair Harris. Chair Harris, finance. Um, we got through a foul three hearings, and we know that the uh, bill will be bringing it back to us next week for approval. Uh, so, just very that. Very that. Very good. Thank you. Do you have any questions for Chair Harris? Seeing that, thank you. Chair Harris. <clears throat> So, not to be a place, I will be attending these meetings that are going to be held each one and these open Monday sessions. Um, and I'll who those can attend. I'll turn it back in the website and take and give you guys what's going on. Um, but besides that, nothing much. Um, for questions. Thank you. Any questions for Chair Wilson? Oh, I will also be meeting with the council members, uh, Colin Stage and Brian, and I have some other messages for you guys. 
seeing your questions. Thank you. Uh, take your break. Transitions operations. So, um, yeah, the meetings are running more smoothly. This one, the launch for the last one. Uh, we did have our archives director resign, so we're filling that position with a new person. I'm uh, really getting that going. Um, but besides that, I would be open session for it as well as we would um, If anybody has anything population wise they want to add, um, or please ask, I'm always open to ask any questions. Thank you, uh, Chair Ranks. Chair Ranks, are you prepared? What would be the status of the function of the archive director? The archive director will have a full authority on the digitalization project and adding and scan all for the whole um, legislature to the Senate office in the office. Do I see any further questions? Seeing none, thank you. Very good. Um, as I said, in terms of who bears, we did post uh, the same as uh, Tom Ray last week for the 13th from the coming for the joint side of the board. Uh, those who are in attendance are able to get great more information from the English of updates from this past session, as well as good ideas that we want to explore at the committee meetings this year. Uh, I think when the committee works, this committee just one is very uh, intentional about what it does and very happy of what work it, it has done and what we're going to be doing in the future. Um, also, uh, in terms of what I did look at today, I suppose the first chair was uh, asked by our pro tenant speaker to go to the Vision East Reps. Uh, they're able to prep these what they like. We will share what the Senate does, and a uh, tremendous number of them were uh, super excited about the idea of uh, preferences in the Senate. They're really uh, interested about all the work you all do here in the room, uh, and it just seems like their um, their eyes are so open and eager to see what all the cool stuff we do. Uh, besides that, also known as individuals, but thanks to a couple of our committee members for working on the bill force resolution, and also those that uh, really jumped on the sort of capstone, which uh, our committee applies to every single month. Something that kind of done being up into the session is something that should be done. So we're glad to get that up and uh, think about the votes that we use uh, throughout the year. Uh, with that, I can move forward to questions. Thank you. Do I see any questions for the on your list? Seeing none, thank you. Hi, guys. Here at the University Inclusion. So, can you guys ask me and spread the here to the meeting today? We're very excited about that. Um, next uh, meeting, we're planning to bring another chair in for open session. Um, you'll be surprised to guys are going to bring a new one in every meeting. So, it would be really cool to see if we can go through the room and like bring um, the differences that we have with them, but also that we just come um, the same. So, for that, if you guys also have any ideas, um, our committee is planning a big diversity workshop. We're going to pair with Dr. Dean Coleman. It's going to be a really huge thing. Um, we're looking to also get the Department of Multi Public Services involved to um, expand it so that agency agencies and all their councils are able to come and bring their um, also um, students that are involved with that. It's going to be a really big thing. We're thinking about bringing a lot of kids with us back home to so always be able to share uh, what they've gone through and um, how it's made them feel coming in. And so it's going to be a really amazing. If you guys have any ideas and topics that you guys can talk about, um, possibly during this um, coming session, um, definitely let me know. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything or what you want to know the resolution, I'm more than happy to be. Um, but other than that, thank you. Thank you. Do I see any questions for Chair Rodriguez? Seeing none, thank you. Chair <coughs> Field Student Services. So a couple of things. First and foremost, um, the subcommittee for the Healthy Lifestyles Initiative was officially created at the last meeting. So excited about that. Um, I have four candidates who are interested in being chair for the subcommittee, so we'll actually get an end up panel interview uh, next Wednesday, and I'll have that chair selected up here to be voted on at the next meeting. Um, so again, I'm super excited about that. I'm looking forward to. If you're interested in joining this subcommittee, um, we want to talk to you about it, see what all might entail. Um, I'll be around. I'm super excited to all answer any questions you might have. Um, SB2 Gillette had a transportation event last week. Um, it was really productive. I um, thought it went really well. A lot of you that have used your issues about transportation, I was able to voice those um, to the different officials uh, like Brian Wilson Sherry, who was on campus, um, to more support her and I think at the moment that's all I have. If there's anything else that you want to talk to me about, um, I'm up here. And also the pilot project program from the campus. Was there 
just so much for that because we have several people who are interested. Um, I have a phone call tomorrow and I'll be able to get back to you all from day number one. Questions. Are there any questions for Jim? Same time, thank you. Cheers, Bert. Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? Um, just a few things. Um, we're still having the past couple of people talk to the action circle on Friday. Um, that's a good idea. We're coming a little bit. We just brought the people who are going to help us out with schools. The two years started to have a lot of help from Bill Murray and our diary. It's been awesome. Um, so get ready, get excited. Um, <coughs> I also don't know if you don't have to be in the or just in the like, community and like things we're working on. That's been super awesome. And um, I really appreciate like getting to know y'all. Um, just know if you ever have a question or like want to know more legislation, feel free to reach out. Um, I love you, we'll grab some coffee. Um, so I think that is pretty much it for me. Um, as position standards, try to also say that it's um, disheartening to see how many people are in the room. Um, make sure you're showing up to your people because it's important. Thank you. Any questions for Joe Spark? Seeing none, Joe Banks. Hi, y'all. Joe Banks. How are you? Here in Missouri. Um, so I had meetings with the um, Speaker of Common Senate, with the Director of the Missouri Council of Justice Initiative. As uh, Pastor Water and Jake Stubner actually mentioned to the uh, Speaker of Congress and the Home Mountain and Mrs. Watson, next to Paper Proctor, and he's on the Met and Dr. Turner on that, so I didn't need to say he didn't want to get his office. He saved us a few bucks, which is real nice. So it's really great. I've kind of figured out some of the different focus areas my committee's working on and among the membership. So each of the issues right now is a point person. If you'd like to be interested in any of those, uh, just let me know. I also have some other stuff going on a little behind the scenes, stuff with the US military programs. So I'm going to give you a question from that and continue to come to the direction. Uh, but yeah, with that, uh, Sven Lose is doing an incredible job as a working member of the team on the exact side, so I'm real excited to see how this year. Do you want to talk to him? Thank you, Chair Brother. I mean, Chair Harris, excuse me. Chair Harris, why did you bring the meeting to the professor to talk to him about like working for the school and for any professor to uh, like charge for property rates here? Because I know I'm thinking of taking the classes that I can do that. Thank you. Yes. So one of the five most areas my committee currently is a faculty accountability um, form. So the end goal of that is having somewhere out for students to come to us. Um, you know, hey, this is going wrong in my you know my class. You know, this is against my rules, or you just just don't care. And then we can then point to that complaint in the right direction. Since we have a lot more connections than the average student does. Also, I forgot to mention this, but um, the spirit of recognizing Senator uh, every week for something they've done great. Uh, this week, I'd like to congratulate. Chair Harris, because finance is a huge element of stuff, and we have enough skills, so. Thank you, Chair Miguel. Chair Miguel, Student Services. So, it's brought to my attention that there was a certain professor who failed to meet me. The end facilities on the first day of class said that nobody would not be excused, and if you tried to pull that BS, you will go to the college. How would you go about explaining that and talking to you or the other? Absolutely. So, as if anybody has any sort of problem with the like that, please let me know. Um, also, the person, the like one person with that is Governor Smith, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. so he's the like one person with that. And we're going to do all the methods to help do that for But absolutely, if you just come to me or wonder about that, we can get that thing narrowed. Currently, the university route here now is through the AOCD, right? And not many people know about that, so I'm just letting them be a better one, so they don't really have a very good. Thank you. Any further questions for Chair Banks? Thank you. Before we move into the period of executive reports, I would like to point out that, um, as it was mentioned, the faculty speaker met with a few of us. Um, <coughs> here as well. I just want to introduce uh, Andrew Klein and recognize him to say a few words. Um, very quickly, I'll add that. Um, he actually reached out to the students on this end to schedule a return meeting um, with SVP Gillette and myself. We had that um, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, or two weeks ago. Sometime this week, exactly. Um, and it went very well. So the faculty student dialogue um, is fantastic. I just wanted to introduce yourself. Okay, howdy. I'm uh, Dr. Jim Klein. I'm a professor of the Department of Human Resources. I'm the professor of all you all. I'm sorry for that. Um, so, with 
I've talked to a number of folks here. Let me just point out a few things. So first, we're putting on uh, the being paid for the guys money to pay for proctoring. Um, give me a few days before you send more complaints, by the way. Um, the provost office is actually working on this the best they can. So they're aware of the issue, but there are more classes that are identified in the big university. Immediately, so uh, just let me know on that. Uh, again, we're going to be we're going to be working through the changes in the end policy for student goal setting. So, if there are concerns, again, we should probably bring them to the AOCDs. You can also bring them to my attention. Um, I would say again, not all faculty uh, follow the rules that we know, uh, but also make sure you tell students to follow the rules because uh, they don't. So, please, I'm happy to. I'm happy to help you there. Thank you. With that, that'll conclude our period of committee reports. We'll move into a period of executive reports, starting with student body president Michael Gillette. <coughs> Those in as Thomas Barrow. As the last <laughs> report. With that, now recognize uh, Chief Justice Jacob. How do you say it? Howdy. Howdy. Um, just a couple of things. First, I'd like to congratulate the Senate Committee um, for um, confirmed and working so hard on getting our budget um, in place and the work. Thank you. Uh, but those who are not here, I'd also like to congratulate all of the members who are appointed to the University Committee. And some of them are not here, but uh, very excited work moving forward. Um, News for the courts, we released a JAG application yesterday. We go to next Tuesday and we will have our JAGs by the first couple of days of October. I'm sure it's going to be less exciting. Um, and lastly, I just want to comment today. I was reminded by a family and two trusted mentors about a very significant person uh, who has worked incredibly hard in the field of human rights and civil disobedience. Not about to serve this country. Um, to protect the people who live there and who live there today still and um, promote peace and unity. As he said, um, the best way to find yourself is to limit yourself to your service of others. And I am incredibly grateful for all the hard work that you are putting in and the commitment that you are putting um, in serving to this student body. Do you have any questions for Chief Justice? Seeing none, thank you. Howdy. Howdy, buddy. So, a few notes in. Uh, one of the things that came back off of the Chief Justice. The first, um, <coughs> you mentioned a few times on the attendance. Um, I know it's because we have realized that um, midterms or whatever year of studying is important, um, but also remember why you usually ran it. Um, we have elections coming up and filing that this week. Um, so when you're coming on Wednesday nights and you're coming to this professional, I uh, remember why you initially ran and then um, what you reached with that. Um, and so I just want to make a quick note of that. Um, it's really important to be here. I think you actually being our teacher to require privileges because you all um, are here this evening. Um, but this is the first reading on the finance uh, allocation bills. There's a lot of things that we to do it. Um, let's make sure we have uh, plenty of people here next meeting when actually get past it. Um, so with that, a little piggyback on what Chief Justice Chopra, um, what she said about the bus service um, kind of goes along with that piece as well. We have a lot of um, a lot of stakeholders at our university that are really eager um, to engage with us, and that's exciting. Um, the African uh, speaker was one of them. Uh, I did not know he's going to come tonight. I mentioned he mentioned that that he's going to uh, pop in that way or now. I think it's a really good sign. Uh, some of you know is you mentioned Student Rule 7, uh, we spoke about that as well, and uh, different pieces we can work on and cooperate with. Um, that was a piece that took years to do, um, but it really um, helped foster a better relationship with faculty and employment we want to continue to build on. So we do appreciate him being here, even um, if he's, if he's in, uh, business casual. Uh, and for all students who are in this, to, uh, as we mentioned, attend our meetings um, so we can continue the dialogue. Um, we've had meetings with the association, and they're really excited to help us. I know Working towards um, getting a past member roster of who's been in the student senate. We're on our 72nd session, that's many, many years. 
Um, so this is where you are going to have the putting version on the website. We also want to know who is the percent. Uh, it's quite expensive because we only have about five years back. So we are looking with um, the past year folks the Christian Council website. And so the association committees are arguing that. Uh, so we can hopefully be um, the voice of the student body to ask those as well as the future. And so um, excited for that. And, and like John Ryan Rodriguez mentioned, Connor and I both got to speak with the fish stage as well. And so we hope to bring them in and encourage them to help us in these projects uh, as well. Uh, different different parts of campus uh, are also really excited to engage. And I won't go any farther um, quite yet. Um, but just want to point out that I thought you were just going to ask me when it was uh, a lot more feisty and a lot longer that uh, we, uh, our voice is only as strong as we make it. So let's continue to come to these meetings. Let's continue to actually care about what we do. Um, and by doing so, people will realize that and people will um, reach out um, just like I did the speaker did. So um, I'm excited for our meeting up here and uh, be the head of this week. Are there any questions, please? Saying that, thank you. Um, actually, um, the same question. Chair, can you respond to the code that we deviate from the agenda and revisit SPP uh, elects? It's in multiple settings. All those in favor of deviating from the agenda to revisit the SPP by each other needs to check the report. Just say aye. 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 <laughs> that passed. That would recognize student body president Mike Gillette, previous announced Tom Star. I'm sorry. I, I, sorry about that. We were interviewing for uh, Vice President of the Municipal Affairs. I've never seen a Senate uh, meeting press so fast. So uh, I apologize about that, but we did find a new DMA, so I uh, Just a couple of things to report. First, uh, for those who were able to attend SGA Fox Traffic last Thursday, I thought it went really well. We're taking all of the questions, comments, concerns, granularizing that data down, and then taking it to the Bryan College Chaser Metropolitan Planning Organization, Texas a and Transportation Services, the Texas a and Transportation Institute, uh, as well as City Council and the Chamber of Commerce Traffic Subcommittee, and asking those questions, asking for feedback. And then in November, we will report back on those feedback, that feedback, and then repeat the cycle. Find a couple of key uh, issues and then advocate uh, on behalf of those through uh, the microphone. <laughs> uh, in terms of healthy on campus dining lounges, if you get a survey in the next couple of weeks, please take it. Uh, there's chart rolls and bags for concrete data that students would be interested in. Interested in more healthy on campus dining lounges, we will pay for it. Uh, so, assuming we get that ticked off, that's sort of like the last checking box where we can start making some actual changes. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, if y'all wouldn't mind, uh, there was a Kappa Delta who uh, was hit by a drunk driver, and she is not doing very well. Uh, she was life flighted to uh, Houston, and it sounds like her condition is not getting any better. So if you can keep her family in your thoughts and prayers through that really tough time, that would be great. There's also a GoFundMe that's all over Facebook right now uh, to help with medical bills as well. The last thing I'll say, uh, be on the lookout for uh, the battalion part. There's an interesting uh, piece that would be in there. Uh, would love for y'all to uh, read that as well. Any questions? Any questions for us? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you all. That now concludes the period of executive reports, and we'll now move into the period of closing roll. Howdy, Howdy. Howdy. Howdy.
Dan. Howdy. 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 Otto, Sir Jeffries, Howdy, Sir Clinton, Sir Colt Knox, Howdy, Sir Crow, Sir Landry, Sir Mitrell, Sir Mandel, Sir Marupo, Howdy, Sir Martin, Howdy, Sir Q, Sir McGill, Howdy, Sir Quint, Sir Montes, Howdy. Senator Morgan, Howdy. Senator Murphy, Senator Newman, Senator Riola, Howdy. Senator Falls, Senator Cato, Senator Kenya, Senator Pett, Senator Price, Howdy. Senator Ramirez, Howdy. Senator Mendez, Howdy. Senator Rivera, Howdy. Senator Rowan, Howdy. Senator Rogers, Senator Hayden Smith, Sir Dunn Smith, Howdy. Sir Thompson, Sir Fran, Sir Crosshair, Howdy. Sir Tomlinson, Howdy. Sir Ula, Howdy. Sir Walter, Howdy. Sir Wheeler, Sir Boyd, Howdy. Howdy. Thank you. Have a good night.